Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green and we are in the championship playoffs. Uh, we've got a home and away. That means there's two games and then it's the total aggregate score of those two games determines who goes on to play in the championship final. And our opponents in this home and away playoff match are reading. 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 It makes me nervous because I love reading, but I hate this team. They gotta go down. You don't get to go to the Premier League because that's what we get to do. So if we win the total aggregate score of the next two games, then we get to go to the playoff final. And if we win the playoff final, then we get to go to the Premier League. And if those things don't happen, I will be fired as the manager of this win in town. Swoodley Pooper, per the little computer program that's been threatening to fire me all season. Um, those are the stakes. They could not be higher. Uh, now, some people have said, many people have said, in fact, that I uh, kind of went, went a little Gatsby this season, uh, lost, lost my perspective, thought only about not what was good for the team, but was what was good for recreating um, the idyllic uh, world that I dreamt of that could never truly exist. Um, and to those people, I say, did you see that back heel? And then, oh, God, he saved it with his foot, the little coward. Oh, God, that was almost the most beautiful goal in the history of Swindon Town football. But instead, instead, no. God, oh, how we suffer. Um, uh, some people have said that, that you know, the Swoodley Poopers have lost uh, quite a bit of their magic. Uh, we, we see this in terms of the, the amount of support for the team. Uh, there are fewer viewers than ever of Swoodley Pooper games. Um, and uh, that may be because the manager's lost his mind. It may be just Swoodley Pooper fatigue. It could be any number of things. Maybe, you know, maybe the game it just isn't as joyful as, as it once was. Um, but I believe that, oh, God, did you see what happened to Meredith? I tried to throw the ball. I hit a dude, and uh, then, fortunately, Green Eggs and Fodringham caught the ball again. It was, it was epic. Um, I would show you a replay, but I don't know how to do replays in FIFA. Uh, that's looking po promising. Leroy Williamson. Leroy Williamson. Leroy Williamson. He scores occasionally. Oh, Leroy Williamson. Leroy Williamson scores occasionally. Leroy Williamson, he scores occasionally, also true in his personal life. That's what they're singing in the stands right now as we take a 1-0 lead over reading, which is a stupid hobby, and I've always been opposed to it anyway. Um, I mean, is, that, is it a place or is it a gerund? I don't know. Um, so uh, I, know, I know that it's been, you know, certainly the most difficult season in the history of the Swoodoo Poopers, and it may, you know, it, it may be that I, that I do get fired, although it's looking pretty good right now. Um, but I, um, I, I believe in these boys, and I, I, I think we still have a lot of supporters. We still have more, more, people, um, more people care about the Swoodoo Poopers than, um, than pay to go see many, many teams in, in, in the championship or in League One. So I, I, think, we, I, I think we do have support. Let me check my, my, my text messages here because I might have to call some people at Barnes & Noble. This says, got the prize, great. Oh! oh I won a big prize! Hey, hey, hey! I think I just won a big prize in Germany. The coolest part about that is that I think that there is money attached to it. Um... I whispered that as if thousands of people aren't going to hear. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I've been a finalist for that prize six different times over the course of my career, and I've never won. I am the uh, Susan Lucci of the Jugend Literatur Preis. Um, oh, but it's, oh, that's awesome. I'm so psyched right now. Oh, I, I, I want to stop filming Swoodley Poopers and go call my German editor, but I won't. Um, uh, Meredith, do you mind Googling how much the human literature prize, how much money you get? Not that I care about such things, but, you know, because other people might. Oh, look at it. It's a breakaway. It's a breakaway. It's a breakaway. It's a breakaway. Pass to Leroy Williamson. Oh, what a beautiful goal. It's like the Swoodley Poopers back in 2011. Oh, my God, that was gorgeous. Leroy Williamson, two-thirds of his way to a hat trick. Oh, my sweet. Oh, look at that empty goal. Old school Swoodley Pooper football. Love it. You don't know how to spell human literature prize? Yeah, seriously. It starts with a J. Um, Jungen Literatur Price. 8,000 euro? Dang. Dang, that's, that's amazing. I, I will be a little mad at you if that's wrong. 
That's, oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, can I keep it in euros so that it retains its value or do I have to move it into dollars? <laughs> all right, now I'm in a really good mood. Um, also, Meredith, you might, be, have to, you might have to bleep all of this in case that isn't public. Oh God, oh God, panic, panic, panic! Oh, Schmergerberg! McCleary. Ah, oh, Ginger McCleary. God. Everybody with a G name is Ginger. That's their... Um, people say I'm too obsessed with gingers, but I say... Oh, God, I'm... So, I, I, why do I suck so bad at this game? Why can't I always play like when Leroy Williamson scores two first-half goals and I never... and I don't give up a goal and we then score two more goals? Because remember, it's home and away, so if I, if I can win this game like 5-1, I've basically ensured that we have a path to the final. Um, because, yeah, if we win it by... The more we win it by, the better it is, because they would have to then beat us by that score in the next game. Oh, that's nice. Great Swoodly Pooper passing. Really good, really good, and it's a goal for John Green! Oh, and Leroy Williamson hugs him. He's big, he's tough, he has a brilliant puff. Other John Green, other John Green. You gotta say, reading is not very good at defense. All right, we're on pace to win six to two right now. Um, so we just need to get to halftime and then try to get Leroy Williamson his hat trick. I don't think the guy's ever had a hat trick in his whole career, Meredith. Um, he's been a swoodly pooper. He's never, you know, he's been a swoodly pooper essentially his whole life. He's gotten the TARDIS. He loves the swoodly pooper so much. He got in the TARDIS. He, he went through time and space in order to re remain a swoodly pooper for life. And, um, you know, I got to think that, honestly, if I leave... You know, if, if I get fired as, as coach of the Swindon Town Swoodly Hoovers, I think other John Green will come with me. He's my namesake. He's my friend. You know, we've been through a lot together. I think Leroy Williamson will stay with the Swoodly Hoovers. I think that he's, he's a red for life. And I think that other John Green, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to think anyway that he's unlike his husband, Bald John Green, that, um, you know, that he's, he's loyal to me even if I am, even if I do go crazy, um, which is what Bald John Green said, is that I lost my, I lost my sense of, of the world. I lost perspective. Uh, and that's why... Ball John Green went to play inexplicably for League Two side AFC Wimbledon because they're owned by their fans and he loves that. Oh, that would almost that was almost nice. That was almost excellent. So come on, get out of bounds. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Great job. That would have been a good time to use the X button, but I chose not to. Um Yeah, so I'm so uh I, you know, I, I am oh Green Egg and Fodringham. I am also relieved that this season is coming to an end, and I also recognize that this is a, um, it's, it's a time for change. It's also an opportunity. Look, if we make it to the Premier League, everything will be forgotten. You know, we'll be, we'll be playing the likes of Manchester United and Chelsea every, every week. You know, we'll have, we'll have, we'll get the fans back. Everything, everything will be rebuilt and fine. We just need to get there, you know, and so that's what we're going to do. Oh, boy. There's a great tackle from Leroy Williamson, and then, oh, poor... Poor game management. Just need we need a spot of possession. Reading has really been possessing the ball lately. All the English people are getting so mad at me for saying Reading, and also so mad at me for my terrible defense. Fortunately, that went off the post. Ha ha. All right. Let's let's do that thing that you guys hate it when I do because I just feel like I possess the ball a little bit better when I do this. There we. Go. No bad passing. Oh, everybody, everybody. This, I mean, this is what the supporters, this is when they start chanting, we want uh, points, not gingers. Um, but I understand that. I'm, I'm sympathetic to your position, believe me. But I need both. I need both points and gingers. Right, we got the ball in a promising position. Going to have Leroy Williamson or Punch Massa Manalela whip it in. No. Oh, and then look at the, look at the referee making trouble for me. That was a very late tackle. That, that may get me in trouble. What a great slide tackle. Nope. Just kidding. Not that great of a slide tackle. Okay, there he is. There he is. That's a judge out there on the... I mean, that guy is just a beast. Surprised I'm not going to get a yellow card for that hideously late tackle. But I didn't. Everything's coming up green. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What? Well, I don't know why you chose to save that, but it was beautiful. All right, now it's to Ginger McShane. Ginger McShane passes it to we call him Bob. We call him Bob up to Leroy Williamson. Leroy Williamson out to the wing where Lionel Richie will go on a run and pass back to Leroy Williamson. Oh, everything's coming. Lionel Richie. 
Oh! Trying to pass to Minel Richie, but I didn't do the right thing. That was a nice, nice piece of play there, though. And remember, we are up 3-1, so I think if we score one more goal, we'd be in really good shape because that 4-1 is... Ah! Oh! Other John Green, you got to get that on the net. At least force the keeper into a save in that situation. It's disappointing. It's disappointing to see. It's not the... See, that's not... That's not, that's not what people pay to see. And, and actually, it's free. This is free? It's crazy. It's crazy that this kind of high-quality entertainment is provided free of charge. <laughs> oh, God! There's a good tackle. We call him Bob with a beast of a tackle. And he releases Massimo Alela. He who shall not be named. He who shall not be named. He who shall... No. Oh, it's a corner kick. It's a corner. The dream is alive, Meredith. Meredith is concerned. She's never seen the Swooter Coopers play so badly in a 3-1 victory. Why are, we, why are we staring at this handsome zombie? Maybe, maybe in FIFA 14 they'll stop looking like zombies. All right, here we go. That's a good one. Oh, you got to get it on the net. Man. Remember when we had... Uh, Remember when we had, like, back in the days of One Size Fits Hall and Ginger Rampage, and those guys would score from pretty much every single header? We just have not had, uh, we just, ha the head, the head has just not been of the same quality context as everything since, uh, since the old FIFA 11's Woodley Poopers. And I think we're all, I mean, uh, you know, a little bit of that is, it, there definitely is a sense of nostalgia for that. Like, I loved, you know, I mean, the quality of the, the quality of the heading of the ball was just a, yeah, it's context. It's just a beautiful thing, beautiful thing to be able to witness. <laughs> oh, it's going to be 3-1. This is going to be the end of the game. 3-1. It's a good win for the Swoodley Poopers. Oh, shoot. Good tackle. No, Fodringham. If it weren't for Green Eggs and Fodringham, I seriously don't think that, uh, I seriously don't think we would even be in the, in the, in the uh, playoffs. But we're going into the second game of the home and away with a 3-1 victory. Look at the Swoodley, support, Swoodley, Swoodley Pooper supporters jump and shout with gratitude. Leroy Williamson almost with his first career hat trick. But that will have to wait till a different day. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.